Huh? You mean the no, like the tube that, uh, like the like the shell of the flighting. <clears throat> oh, but welcome back to the good old Southern IA. We loaded out some beans with my dad here this morning. Andrew and I are gonna haul a couple of loads of hay to the Amish auction because it's the first auction of the year. Give us an idea what the markets are doing this year on the prices of hay. And then when we get done hauling hay, we've got to move some equipment around, get things set up because we'll be doing tiling work. Come on, girl. She cold. We'll be doing some tiling work next week, which is exciting. Whoa, there's a mouse. Lucky it didn't go up my pant leg. It had a way out. Is your spear supposed to be bent like that? You carry two bales of wood. Oh, okay. Them gotta get pulled out today. One trailer loaded. We'll load up the Dodge here. The big difference is he's got the inline trailer on the back of his truck here. So all I have to do is push them on from the back, then they tip off the side. No straps, takes five minutes to load this thing. Way quicker, way nicer. Obviously we can haul a few more bales on that trailer, but I'd rather have one of these. And you back up and you jackknife the trailer, then the trailer's pushing against the truck. Then you're not pushing against the transmission or the brakes or stuff like that. Works good. See how much quicker that is? It's like, you just, no time at all. Not only do you save time loading it, and then when you can just tip it off wherever you get to, you don't even have to have anybody there to unload you. That's why I like those trailers. Don't let it get any tears on you. It likes to spit back. Hey, train comm check. First auction of the year. Gotta go find the guy that runs the place, see where we're gonna put this hay.
last thing I gotta do, write my number on here. That way they know whose bales they are. So who to send the money to. Or if you guys wanna come pay a bunch of money for my bales, that'd be great. <laughs> we better go stop and make sure that free ice cream's still good. I was hoping you'd think that. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what comes out when you stop here, huh? Look at you licking your lips. I'm not gonna hold it for you the entire time you're eating, bud. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah, well, uh, I gotta load up five bales for a neighbor, then I'm gonna load up the skid steer, or we're gonna load up the skid steer and get it hauled out of here. Okay, skid steer's taken care of, dad's loading corn. I'm gonna grab the excavator and Andrew's on his way over and we're gonna hook him to a tile cart. I've got to unhook from the anhydrous bar. until dad and I put our minds together, which equals about half mine. Uh, we decided, hey, anhydrous prices are good, fall weather's good, 
uh, why not pull some more? So we went from about 60% of our acres to a few more of that. I would have filmed more of it, but I finished late one night and uh, I lost a whole shank. We left a part of the bar in Numa. <laughs> that whole shank must have ripped out in that three acres. <laughs> I had no clue that was missing. Which is a Sunday and the old adage of work on Sunday broke on Monday very much so held true here. Uh, 40 acres later on Sunday I snapped the shank off completely. Had to go run, get another one of those. Finished up, put it back on. Of course it gets dark at 5 o'clock. At 5 o'clock every time I flip my master switch on my rate would skyrocket and then work its way back down like the flow meter was going bad or something was in there. I finished out that field that I was in, came over to the field that I'm sitting in now. This story is getting a little bit long, but as soon as I flipped it on, my rates shot to like 500 or so, and I just blew hoses off everywhere. So I quit at 5.30, 6 o'clock at night. Monday morning, showed up, had junk in the flow meter, flow meter wasn't working. Started pulling at about 2 o'clock, pulled from 2 to 11.30 or so at night, pulled another 180 acres, but now, like I said, we've got this tile project. But the reason I pulled so late was because we had rain coming and it actually started raining on me when I got done and I didn't want to leave a field half pulled. I left the bar hooked up to the tractor because I thought there might have been a chance that we could pull today or tomorrow. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. So we got to get set up. Down the road. This is going to take a while. Thank you. 